What's up guys? So as you saw with the essential question, um, how do we go beyond proving triangles similar? This concept, this section, this video is going to be very similar, haha, -ha, no pun intended to similarity, but it's going to be very similar to something that you are already very, very comfortable with, you're very, very great with, you've mastered it, and it was way back when we proved triangles congruent like you see here on the screen. Whether we proved them through side, angle, side, like this one up here, HL, angle, angle, side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, side, 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 whatever, any of those five methods. Remember, we could go beyond proving triangles congruent, that's right, by using this thing, C, whoa, just disappeared, C, P, C, T, C. And remember, that stood for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So as soon as you knew that the triangles down here like this were congruent, then you immediately know all of their corresponding parts, CP, of these congruent triangles were congruent. So you could have easily said through CPCDC that, you know, AB was congruent to DE or that angle D was congruent to angle B um, or that the last thing here, angle E, would be congruent to angle A because angle E and A match up and angle, change colors, angle B and angle D match up so on and so forth. So that was corresponding parts of congruent triangles. But here's the key thing, remember, the only way that you could have used CPCTC is by first of all proving triangles congruent. In a similar fashion, haha, ha, likewise, we are going to take this example right here and I would pause the video right now. Did you pause it? You need to. Pause it. Write this example down because in this example what we're going to do is prove these two triangles similar and, and then go beyond proving the triangle similar to prove, whoa, this thing right here. Now, I said, whoa, because we have never, to this point, seen something quite this interesting that we're going to prove. So here's my suggestion. Now that you've copied this example down, I'm going to give you a huge, huge hint. And you need to start this, circle it, highlight it, put a big old cloud around it, whatever. But anytime you see... A statement like this, whether it's in the proof, you're, you're going to write in the proof, or it's what you're attempting to prove, like this example that we're doing. I'm going to tell you 100% of the time, especially with what we do in class, you're going to have had to somewhere in your proof prove the triangles similar. If you haven't proved the triangles similar, then you will not be able to get to this particular statement right there. So somewhere in your proof, you need to put that in your brain, etch it in your mind, etch it in your brain, and know as soon as I see a ratio equaling a ratio, okay, a proportion, you should know to yourself, whoa, I'm going to need to prove triangles similar. That being said, let's prove these two triangles up here similar, and then we'll learn what we use, what we need to do to get the triangle similar to go to this guy right there. So what are we given? Angle X and angle ZBA. What we are proving now in step number two, I'm going to see what we can do. Let's prove these triangles similar. Forget about getting to this yet. We'll see how that happens here shortly. But as I just said, let's prove the triangles similar. You know how to do that through the oh, squeaky theorem. So we got one pair of angles. We need one more pair of angles to make this thing work. Mm, well, let's see. If I look at this picture, another angle would be angle Y and maybe angle A, but I have no idea how I get those guys congruent, so that's not going to work. The only other option would be set, oh, look at this. Angle Z right here in this triangle AZB is the same exact angle as it is in the bigger triangle YXZ. Beautiful. So I'm going to put over here statement number two. Angle Z, that's right, can go into angle Z. And remember, it is completely possible to have the reflexive property work with angles just like it does sides. So that's your reason, reflexive property. Now we have two pairs of angles, so beautiful. So let's get now our third step in proving these triangles uh, similar. Let's make sure we're careful with this. So I'm going to use, let's go ABZ, ABZ, similar to, let's make sure we keep this corresponding because this is important. So I went with A for this one, so that means there's no tick mark, so i got to start with Y, no tick mark. And then I went from A to B, so I go A to the blue tick mark, so that means i got to go from Y over to X. That's how you know it's corresponding, using the tick marks. 
and then the last letter has to be Z. Beautiful. So my reason is ha squiggy, and I got number one. It was given to me angle one, or the pair, first pair of angles in statement one. And the second pair of angles was in statement two. So there we go. So now that we have the triangles similar, remember our definition of similar polygons, similar triangles, similar polygons, whatever, said this. There's two parts to it. If two triangles or polygons are similar, then one, the corresponding sides are proportional. It means the ratio, oh, the ratio of their corresponding sides actually are the same. They're equal to each other. That's exactly right. So what I want you to notice is this. I'm going to color code this tremendously. So here is AZ. Look up here where AZ is. Oh, I see it. There's AZ. And right here is AZ in the little triangle. If I kind of color code that with over here where ZY is, I'll make it a darker green. Z, check this out. There's ZY. So they are in corresponding parts corresponding places in these two similar triangles. And YZ happens to be this thing right there. Now this isn't going to make so much sense over here when I'm drawing now, but maybe it will for some of you color-coded people. <laughs> so AZ matches up with YZ. In a similar fashion, let's use purple. So here's AB, check it out. AB is right there. And AB in the picture is this guy right there. If I make it a darker purple, right there, right there, is yx. So notice how they are in corresponding places of these two similar triangles. Mm, I'm kind of giving you the answer. And by the way, here is yz or yx. So how would I then finish this with a proof? Well, I would take this particular statement right there. Since I now know I have triangles similar, here's what I know. I now know that I'm finished by stating that these ratios of corresponding sides are equal. I just told you the reason. Back to this, as I said before, in a similar type fashion. Once you get triangles congruent, then you can prove their corresponding parts are congruent. Well, once I know triangles are similar, then I can prove their corresponding parts. No, they're not congruent, but the ratios are equal. So here's how you would write it over here in your two column proof. Corresponding sides, I'm not saying parts because now we're talking specifically sides, corresponding sides of similar triangles are congruent. You can say equal, you can say congruent. So there is your reason. Corresponding sides, they are corresponding sides. In these similar triangles, they are congruent. And yes, if you want to, I got gotcha. you. Um, it's not in any book. It's just something that I'm going to put up here. It is corresponding sides of similar triangles are congruent. Ah, that's not put congruent. Actually, you know what? It's not. Change that. It's not congruent. This is what it is. I messed you up. Sorry. It's proportional. That's the actual word. So corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional, which means you can make it proportion like that. That's the word. That's it. So I messed up. Forgive me, I put congruent instead of proportional. That's the word. So it's C-S-S-T-P. <laughs> you could use that if you want to. Corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. So even though I said that you can use C-S-S-T-P, um, you know what? I still want to see this. I still want you to write this. Still write this out because it's going to be very valuable for you to write all that out. I know you're like, no way. It will be because then you're going to learn a lot better. So I want to see this. Corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. That's your reason whoop, why that right there is true. So what did we learn? We learned this, that as soon as you prove triangles similar, bam, then you know you can get corresponding sides to be proportional. But the biggest thing I hope that you picked out of this was this. As soon as you see this thing right here, as soon as you see, oh boy, that this guy right here, as soon as you see a ratio like that, a proportion, ratio equaling a ratio, that means somewhere in your proof, you better stop, forget even this for now, and prove some triangles similar. Because you won't be able to get any further unless you prove triangles similar. So there we go. We're going to practice that. And actually, I'm going to teach you one more thing that goes beyond proving these triangles similar and using these corresponding sides proportional. We can go beyond that, just like we did with CPCTC, where we went beyond CPCTC.
Same same concept's gonna apply where we can kind of go beyond that and do some other things using our I dream of genie theorem. See you in class. Rock and roll. Proud of you guys. We'll see you.